Hi Weber fans, so today what we're gonna be doing is cooking the perfect steak, one of my favorites, with homemade chimichurri sauce. So what we'll do is get straight to it. Hi Weber fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if I like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So as I said, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing one of my homemade favorites. This is a favorite of the household, and it is a steak with chimichurri homemade sauce. So what we'll do is we'll jump straight into it. So as normal, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that cube nice and hot, so we're gonna give it 10 minute preheat. So what we'll do is get this lit, and then we'll go and prepare that steak. Right, so as I said, what we're gonna be doing today is cooking that steak to a medium rare, just the way I like it. And I'm gonna be topping it off with some chimichurri sauce, which actually gives it a nice flavor and just complements that steak completely. So what we'll do is we'll just grab the ingredients. So today we're going to be using a rum steak. Now what you want to do with your steak is you want to season it first. And what I find is easier if you oil the meat and not the grill, it works a treat. Now we're cooking a bit of rum steak today. We have got a bit of marbling in there, as you can see. So first thought, what we're going to do is just cover that with some olive oil. And I'm just going to season that with some salt and pepper. What you'll find if you leave it overnight, the salt will actually bring the colour out of that meat, making it nice and red, and it will enhance the flavour severely. So our cube's been heated for 10 minutes, so what we're going to do is just clean that grate off and make sure there's no residue from the previous cook and then we'll get our steak on. Once the queue's ready nice and hot, so it's time to grab that steak out of the fridge and get it on. That for three minutes. That's gone for three minutes. That's ready to turn. Look at those grill marks. Can't beat them off the queue. Right, that's another three minutes. Now it's time to get that steak off. So we're just going to tent that over. And we're back to rest while we prepare our sauce. Right, so to start off with our chimichurri sauce, we're going to start and mince some garlic. Now, if you haven't got a mincer, it's quite easy to crush your garlic. Obviously, peel it first. I've cut the ends off. And then all we're going to do is get our knife, get your fingers sort of angled back, and we're just going to chop it. And there we have some finely minced garlic. So you can mince it smaller if you like. That tends to be fine for me. It's literally going in the chili chili sauce. So 
So next for our sauce, we're gonna add a teaspoon of crushed chilies and a teaspoon of oregano leaves. So next up, we're gonna finally chop some parsley. So you want some fresh parsley, and I'm gonna do about a third to one half cup of chopped parsley. Now you can do this in a blender. I prefer to do it by hand, I just think it releases the flavors a lot more. Now our parsley's chopped, we're just gonna put that in a bowl. So now to that, we're gonna add our mixture, our garlic. Gonna add a smidge of salt and pepper. We don't want too much because we've seasoned that steak as it is. Then we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of olive oil. One and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. And then we're just going to mix that round. And that is our chimichurri sauce made. Right, so our steak's been resting for about 10 minutes, so what we're going to do now is get it cut up and place it up with the sauce. Once that's been resting, so we're going to do now is just slice that up. Put in half first. And that meat is perfect. I'll get this plated up. And we'll just top this off with our chimichurri sauce. So what we'll do is just try a bit. Still got the redness of that meat. The lemon, the garlic, which is super. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope you found it really informative. And again, it's just another quick meal that you can prepare, especially this time of year, and get outstanding results. And it tastes absolutely awesome, in my opinion. And the sauce complements that steak a treat. Well, now don't forget everything I used in the video today and the recipe will be in the description below. So make sure you check those out. So again, those of you new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate show your support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if I like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is we'll cut to any bloopers, and I'll catch you in the next one.